Hey, welcome back to another video presentation on uh, a topic related to geometry and this topic is circle. Now, let's suppose that we have a straight rod of any material, that it be of any material. We have a straight rod and it's such that it has been hinged at a point on the wall. So since it has been hinged, it means that it can revolve or rotate around this point to which it has been hinged to. So if you start moving it in a clockwise direction, let's say it's moving in clockwise, so you rotate it and then further rotate it, then further and then further, finally it reaches to its initial position of this you know straight line. So the kind of path that this rod while rotating will traverse will be a circular path, will be a circular path. So let's say that the kind of, let me move it. So let's say that it takes some path like this. Well, it's not a very perfect, you know, diagram. I'm sorry for that because I'm using my, you know, just rough hand, drawing it with a rough hand. So, okay, that's much better. So when rotated in a circular path in clockwise direction, it will traverse this circular path and at any given position at any given position let's suppose that the length of this rod was let's suppose that the length of this rod was 5 meter now suppose that after when when while rotating this rod you came to this position you came to this position right so this position and if this was 5 meter this distance from this point to this point the hinged point and to this you know end of this rod was 5 meter then again this will also be a 5 meter right that's very obvious because it's the same rod which is being rotated in a clockwise direction it is taking a circular path so if the length of the rod is 5 meter therefore the distance between this center at which this rod has been hinged to hinged at and this end point of this rod will be 5 meter right so again this distance will again be 5 meter and let's suppose that at some point you reach at this position while rotating it it will again be 5 meter this distance between this point and this point the end of the rod and after some time when it reaches here when it reaches here this will again be 5 meter and even if it reaches here, it will again be a 5 meter. Now you can clearly see that this is a circular path. This is a circular path. And while traversing this path by this rod, the distance between this point, that is where rod, rod was hinged at, and the end of this you know uh, end of this rod it will always be 5 meter 5 meter 5 meter that means that this length that this distance from this point to this point from this point to this point from this point to this point on the circular path will always be 5 meter that's what a circle is if this is a circular path and the distance from this point and to the point on the path on the circular path if it's always constant it always remains the same then that will be a circle that is a circle and this point this point where this rod was rod was hinged to hinged at is a will be called 
center will be called center okay and this distance that is from the center to this extreme position of this whatever you say rod or you know a point on the circular path so let's say that let's say that let's say that this is the point so again if the distance between this point and this point will again be 5 meter you can clearly see that this point let's say it's p and the center was let's say o so this point on this circular path that is circle is be, will be 5 meter so this is nothing else but radius this is radius what is radius radius is the distance between you know uh, between the center and any point on this on the circle on any point on the circle circle is nothing nothing but the circular path that has been traveled by this rod and it's making a circle so the distance between the center and this point on the circle is called radius so now we know center we know radius and we know circle circle will be the circular path traveled by this rod and it will be something like this where the distance from the center and on any point on the rock on this circle will always be same will always be same this all distance will be same so this is a circle now we know center we know radius let's talk about let's talk about or let's discuss here only and let me remove something some you know let me remove these points okay so let's suppose that this is a point p on the circle and i again take another point q here okay and if i join these two points if i join these two points okay if i take another point if i take another point let's say this r here this is s here and if i join them these two points if i take if i take another point let's say it's t here and it's u here so and if i join them if i take another point if it is v here and let me remove this and w here and if i connect this so these line segments that are made you know uh, that have been formed these line segments that have been, have been formed using any two points on the circle if you take any two point on a circle and connect them doesn't matter how close they are even if this line would have been something like this even closer than this let's say that this these points are a and b so this line segment a b where point A is on the circle, point B is on the circle. This line segment PQ, where point P is on the circle, point Q is on the circle. This point, this line segment RS, where point R is on the line segment on the circle and S is on the circle. This line segment TU, where T is on the circle and U is on the circle. This line segment VW, V is on the circle and W is on the circle. These are called chords these all are chords 
so AB line segment AB line segment PQ line segment RS line segment TU line segment VW these all are chords now you can clearly see that if I further you know go on joining these points there will be a point when you know a line segment will pass through this center I'm repeating again I made this line segment then a you know larger line segment then a larger larger chord then a larger chord then a larger chord and then I can draw a chord which will pass through this center and the two points will again you know be will be on let's name it as E and let's name it as F so this chord EF this chord EF that is a line segment EF is, is still a chord because the point E is on the circle and point F is on the circle and these points are being connected using a line segment therefore this will be a chord but this is a special kind of chord because this chord is passing through the center of this circle this is a center that is O and that special chord is called diameter that special chord is called diameter or called diameter now look very carefully here you know just concentrate on this line segment or the chord or the diameter diameter is a special chord special chord why special chord because it passes it passes through the center it passes through the center now look at this diameter you can clearly see that this is a center and if I if I measure the length of this distance between this center and the point E it's coming 5 meter right I mean the previous example only the old example only where the length of the road was 5 meter so this distance is 5 meter and again if I take O center and this F this will again be 5 meter right 5 meter and 5 meter and you know that this 5 meter is actually radius this is radius so this 5 meter is radius and again even this 5 meter is radius so what is EF EF is 5 meter plus 5 meter right because it's passing through the center so 5 meter plus 5 meter that is 10 meter and you can clearly see that it means that that if line segment EF is coming as 10 meter then of course and EF is diameter it is diameter it is diameter therefore we can clearly see that this E line segment EF or the chord EF that is a diameter is twice of 5 meter why because it's 10 meter 5 meter plus 5 meter 5 meter plus 5 meter twice of 5 meter that is 2 times of 5 meter that is twice of radius that is twice of radius it's clear to you so this is very important that is diameter diameter is a special chord that passes through the center and this diameter is nothing else but twice of radius that is twice the length of the radius this is the very this is a very important formula okay diameter is twice of radius so now we know about center we have discussed about radius most importantly we know what a circle is we know about chord we know about diameter and we have seen here the relation between diameter and the radius